Supergrass. Thanks so much for your company today. Have an absolutely brilliant Thursday. It's Radio 2 just coming up to midday. Here's Jeremy. Thanks, Gary. Good afternoon. It's the Jeremy Vine Show. It's great to have you with us. And today, Keir Starmer has sacked his transport spokesman for supporting the rail strikes. Do you think the Labour leader made the right call? Drought warnings. Are water companies really telling people to wash their car less and be proud if it's dirty? Is that good advice? Did you feel pressured to christen your child when you've barely set foot in a church for 20 years? And a Heathrow Airport boss condemns people who pretend to be disabled and demand a wheelchair in order to bypass the queues. Shocking. How could they? Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. BBC Radio 2. All of that coming, but first let's go to the newsroom and hear the very latest from Adam Porter. Jeremy, thank you. The actor and children's entertainer Bernard Cribbins has died aged 93. In a career spanning seven decades, he appeared in some of the UK's most popular films and television shows. The comedian and actor Matt Lucas described him as a brilliantly talented man. Our arts correspondent David Silito says that for many, Bernard Cribbins was the voice of their childhood. He's one of those names you mention and people go, yes, yes, Bernard Cribbins. And then you have a look down the list and you think, what was he in? And you look and you just go, oh, everything. I mean, it's incredible. The Railway Children, The Wombles, Faulty Towers, Carry On, Doctor Who. That's the top of the list. And it's like a greatest hits of most loved TV programmes of the last 60 years. The owner of British Gas, Centrica, has announced operating profits of £1.3 billion in their latest results. Shell also posted large profits equivalent to £9 billion for the second quarter. The utilities consultancy BFY had earlier warned that average household energy bills could hit £500 a month in January. Unions and senior Labour politicians have reacted angrily to the sacking of the Shadow Transport Minister Sam Tarry, who joined striking rail workers on a picket line yesterday. Labour said the reason he was fired was for an unauthorised media appearance. An update from the Ministry of Defence has suggested that a Ukrainian counter-offensive in the Russian-occupied city of Kherson is gathering momentum. British intelligence has described Russian troops as highly vulnerable. Ed Arnold is an expert in European security at the think tank the Royal United Services Institute. He says help from the West is starting to pay off for Ukraine. Well, the key factor has really been the supply from the West of longer range rocket systems to Ukraine, which are more accurate. Really, what we're seeing is that the Ukrainians are starting to set the conditions for a large scale counteroffensive around Kherson. Politically, that's important because Ukraine needs to show the West that it is able to use these systems and take back significant territory. The number of deaths from drug misuse in Scotland last year dropped slightly. 1,330 people died. It's the first time the figure's fallen in nearly 10 years. Despite the drop, Scotland still has the highest drug death rate recorded by any country in Europe. More than 5,000 athletes from 72 nations and territories will take part in the Commonwealth Games, which open in Birmingham later today. Organisers say it will be the biggest Games yet and the first major event to fully integrate para sports into the main schedule. Laurel Boyce is among those performing in the opening ceremony. It's nerve-wracking, it's overwhelming, but very exciting at the same time. For my students, most definitely, it means the world to them to have their dance coach be the lead role in this iconic event. Um, I'm from here, I'm from Birmingham, so for my family and for myself, it's, it's history in the making, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And the four-time Formula One world champion Sebastian Vettel has announced he'll retire at the end of the season. The German won four titles in a row between 2010 and 2013. BBC News, it's four minutes past twelve. Thanks, Adam. The next two hours in four words. Starmer, drought, Christen, wheelchair. Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. BBC Radio 2. Oh, I forgot to mention David Bowie. 